animated movies ever you should watch at least once in your life. Can't Some kind of animation domination. Wait, the growth of mainstream animation has changed the landscape of entertainment. Chris with Rock, new technology, Schwimmer, animation studios are able Smith. to produce more and more high quality digital options. You've been ratted out, boys. From kids' cartoon movies like Frozen to more adult films. Like Avatar, animation provides something for everyone. Welcome to DLP Movie and let's count down our top 10 best animated movies ever you should watch at least once in your life. Monsters, Incorporated. Monsters, Incorporated is a pretty daring concept. Monsters live in their own alternate world apart from humans in a city, where the power is generated by the screams of human children, provided by a company that sends monsters into closets all over the world to scare kids and bottle up their reactions. But it turns out that these monsters are as afraid of humans as humans are of monsters. Sully! Morning, Sully! How you doing, big guy? Hey. Go get him, Mr. Sullivan! Quiet! Make him lose his focus! Oh, no! Sorry! Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet! Oh, the kids away! Oh. Quit! And a bunk bed! <laughs> So when a little girl comes through the portal into Monstropolis and is found by Sully, whom she nicknames Kitty, and Sully's best friend and scaring coach, the one-eyed, lottery ball-shaped Mike the two first panic, but then grow attached to the child and try to protect her from a monstrous overreaction. Monsters, Incorporated should appeal to the whole family. It's funny, the characters are enduring, the monster world is cleverly developed, and the Pixar gang really has fun with this one. Wally. Pixar's Wally succeeds at being three things at once an enthralling animated film, a visual wonderment, and a decent science fiction story. Wally, short for Waste Allocation Load Lifter Earth Class, is the last robot left on Earth. He spends his days tidying up the planet, one piece of garbage at a time. But during 700 years, Wally has developed a personality, and he's more than a little lonely. Then he spots Eve. A sleek and shapely group sent back to Earth on a scanning mission. Smitten Wally embarks on his greatest adventure yet when he follows Eve across the galaxy and sets into motion one of the most exciting and imaginative comedy adventures ever brought to the big screen. Joining Wally on his fantastic journey across a universe of never before imagined visions of the future is a hilarious cast of characters, including a pet cockroach and a heroic team of malfunctioning misfit robots. The Incredibles. Directed by Brad Bird, The Incredibles revolves around former high-profile superhero Bob Barr, as known as Mr. Incredible, who has not so successfully settled into suburban life along with his wife and kids under the watchful eye of the superhero production program. Just when it looks as if things can't get any worse for Bob, he gets a summons to show up at a remote island to receive instructions for a highly classified assignment, which he promptly accepts. Thrust back into the world of fighting crime, the incredible family is back in familiar territory, saving the world from Syndrome, a jilted former fan of Mr. Incredible. The Incredibles is a great film, with plenty of thrills, laughs, and action, enough to please both families and comic book geeks. It's easily one of the best comic book and smart movies ever made and one of Pixar's finest achievements. Up Carl Fredrickson, a 78-year-old balloon salesman, is about to fulfill a lifelong dream. Tying thousands of balloons to his house, he flies away to the South American wilderness. But curmudgeonly Carl's worst nightmare comes true, when he discovers a little boy named Russell is a stowaway aboard the balloon-powered house. An exquisite work of cinematic art that also happens to be the funniest, most touching, most exciting and most entertaining movie released so far. This is a hugely imaginative and magical fantasy adventure that explores issues such as loss and dreams deferred with such a light, and universal touch that it will appeal to an extremely broad audience. Minions If those little yellow creatures from Despicable Me and its sequel drove you bananas, you'll find no respite at Minions, the third chapter in the series. Gruen's adopted daughters are nowhere to be found, nor are Pharaoh Williams' catchy songs, guarded and voiced by co-director Pierre Coffin. The Minion species earns an origin story that begins in the primordial soup and ends 42 years BG, before Gru. 
The story goes like this. The minions are a race that has existed on Earth for millions of years and have one sole goal in life, to serve the needs of supervillains. Throughout time, they have worked for the Pharaohs, Napoleon and even Dracula amongst others, but their unrelenting devotion to their master is undermined by one thing. Their adorable incompetence, you see, they have a habit of accidentally killing each and every one of their adoptive leaders. Finding Nemo In this stunning underwater adventure, with memorable characters, humor and heartfelt emotion, Finding Nemo follows the comedic and momentous journey of an overly protective clownfish named Marlin and his son Nemo, who become separated in the Great Barrier Reef when Nemo is unexpectedly taken far from his ocean home, and dumped into a fish tank in a dentist's office. Buoyed by the companionship of Dory, a friendly but forgetful Pacific Regal Blue Tang, Marlin embarks on a dangerous trek and finds himself the unlikely hero of an epic effort to rescue his son, who hatches a few daring plans of his own to return safely home. The movie takes place almost entirely under the sea, in the world of colorful tropical fish, the flora and fauna of a shallow warm water shelf not far from Australia. Well, he might be hungry. Don't worry, whales don't eat clownfish, they eat krill. The use of color, form and movement make the film a delight even apart from its story. Toy Story Toy Story creates a universe out of a couple of kids' bedrooms, a gas station, and a stretch of suburban highway. Its heroes are toys, which come to life when nobody is watching. Its conflict is between an old-fashioned cowboy who has always been a little boy's favorite toy, and the new space ranger who may replace him. The villain is the mean kid next door who takes toys apart and puts them back together again in the cobra combinations. And the result is a visionary roller coaster ride of a movie, for the kids in the audience. A movie like this will work because it tells a fun story, contains a lot of humor, and is exciting to watch. Older viewers may be even more absorbed, because Toy Story, the first feature made entirely by computer, achieves a three-dimensional reality and freedom of movement that is liberating and new. The more you know about how the movie was made, the more you respect it. Despicable Me 2 while Gru, the ex supervillain is adjusting to family life and an attempted honest living in the jam business, a secret arctic laboratory is stolen. The anti-villain league decides it needs an insider's help and recruits Gru in the investigation. Together with the eccentric AVL agent, Lucy Wilde, Gru concludes that his prime suspect is the presumed dead supervillain, El Macho, whose his teenage son is also making the moves on his eldest daughter, Margot. Seemingly blinded by his overprotectiveness of his children and his growing mutual attraction to Lucy, Gru seems on the wrong track even as his minions are being quietly kidnapped en masse for some malevolent purpose. You know, you really should announce your weapons after you fire them. For example... <laughs> Lipstick taser! Get in there! <laughs> The pace of the film moves along nicely and keeps the audience's attention very well. It has many laugh-out-loud moments, a decent mix of children humor and adult humor. The main character Gru is likable and funny. The minions, however, are the main stars. They had me laughing on multiple occasions during the film. The language created for the minions is very well done as they speak in a fictional language, but you can always gather what they are seeing. The Lion King the Lion King An American animated musical film produced by Walt Disney in 1994. This film takes place in the pride lands of Africa, King Mufasa. The ruling lion and queen Sir Robbie present their newborn son Simba, the new heir of the throne, to the animals of Pride Rock, Simba's uncle. Scar is fueled by anger and rage due to being unable to take over the throne, in plots to kill Mufasa and Simba in order to take his place as king. Scar causes a stampede through the canyon along with his hyenas where both Mufasa and Simba are. Scar ensures Mufasa falls to his death and blames the death on Simba. The Lion King has been such an important part of so many childhood since it came out. But what is so remarkable is that, whereas some childhood entertainment loses a lot of luster once the nostalgia goggles come off, the story is honest in its portrayal of the corruption that exists in the world, but more importantly, in the hope that good moral judgment can overcome such corruption. Despicable Me In a happy 
suburban neighborhood surrounded by white picket fences with flowering rose bushes, sits a black house with a dead lawn. Unbeknownst to the neighbors, hidden beneath this home is a vast secret hideout, surrounded by a small army of minions. We discover Crew, planning the biggest heist in the history of the world. He is going to steal the moon. Yes, the moon. Gru delights in all things wicked. Armed with his arsenal of shrink rays, freeze rays, and battle-ready vehicles for land and air, he vanquishes all who stand in his way. Until the day he encounters the immense pool of three little orphan girls who look at him and see something that no one else has ever seen. A potential dad. The world's greatest villain has just met his greatest challenge. Three little girls named Margo, Edith and Agnes. From start to finish, the film was absolutely captivating and sophisticated with an engaging narrative and imaginative characters. What is your favorite animated movie from the list? Let us know below and do not forget to subscribe.